What's up, guys? This is Child Support School Classes in Session. Today, I'm going to make a quick video about Nick Cannon's recent interview where he disclosed that he does not pay any monthly child support for any of his 12 kids to any of his six uh, babies' moms. My attorney reaction to that and what we can all learn from that situation. Okay, before I get started, nothing in this video is going to be legal advice or an invitation to establish an attorney-client relationship. Also, if you have not already, I'm going to ask you to hit that thumbs up icon. It really helps us out. If you're not already a subscriber to this channel, I highly recommend that you do so now. It costs nothing, and we're always making free informational videos for anyone who's going through the child support or family law system. Okay, let's jump in. So in doing some research, I came across this article. Uh, how Nick Cannon um, talked about how he does not provide any monthly child support for any of his 12 kids. Now, I like Nick. Nothing about this video is going to be bashing Nick Cannon. In fact, as a child support attorney who's kind of dedicating his spare time to helping people going through the child support system, I think that there is a very, very valuable lesson here. So um, <clears throat> lots of guys are getting pulled through this state child support system. And um, uh, they are having to get these child support orders, right? Um, Nick Cannon talks about how he's not on government, right? What does that mean? I think most of us probably know what that means. It means he's not on the grid. He's not in the system. He has worked out a arrangement with all of his baby's moms to where he is the provider. So that means that anything they need, right? Anything mom needs, anything the kids needs, they come to him he doesn't say no. He immediately gives them whatever they need, right? That's a pretty good arrangement, right? That means he's not, there's not a monthly child support payment that's, that's ordered through the court that he has to make. He's got an arrangement like he, and this is something that a lot of the people um, that are subscribers to this channel that I've met personally wish that they could work out. But a lot of dads are in this situation where the state's going after them for child support. And now they're stuck dealing with the state. But if they had had an opportunity to have a sit down conversation with the mom before the state started coming after them, it might have been a completely different story. So this really highlights for us the other option, right? Other than going through the courts, it's, hey, look, let's work something out. Let's stay out of the courts. Now, something about Nick Cannon's situation that I think is really interesting is I'm not seeing anything online. Of course, I haven't really looked deep yet. I will do that and follow up with you guys soon about any sort of custody battles. Now, if he was able to work out child support by this arrangement with six baby's moms, then I can virtually guarantee you that he has not gone through any sort of custody battles with these ladies. Um, they have probably worked that out as well. It's generally when you go into the courts, the custody and the child support go hand in hand. Um, so I imagine there's a, a, um, uh, agreement that's not on the grid, it's not in the courts, not on government regarding custody too. And this is something that you guys can be doing, or at least trying to do in your situation before it goes down that road where you guys are adversaries in court. Um, you know, as an attorney, um, you know, I, I look at that, I, I see people that make that work. Now, the problem is, is you have to be extremely amicable with the other parent if something like that is going to work. Nick Cannon, he's got six exes that he is, um, that he's got this arrangement with. Now that is quite an impressive accomplishment. That's quite an impressive juggling act of keeping all of these, uh, uh, you know, other opposing parents happy with the situation. Most of the people I meet every day can barely can't even do that with one ex with one child. So, uh, but I think this can be inspiration for all of us that we can get along with the ex. Like if we're going through a breakup, let's make that breakup amicable. Let's not make it this toxic thing where the relationship goes down in flames. Because if that happens, they're never going to you know, be willing to work out something like this with you. So I'm sure that Nick probably had mature uh, adult breakups um, that were calm, that weren't toxic, that weren't explosive with probably most of these women. That's probably how he was able to work this out. Um, so again, if y'all know anything about this situation, uh, you want to correct me on any of this information, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, but again, we can all learn that there's this other option, right? Okay. So guys, I'm not going to go on all day about this. I appreciate you hanging through the end. If you have not already, again, please hit that thumbs up icon. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, like I said a moment ago, 
I uh, put out videos like this all the time aimed at providing insightful information for anyone on child support or going through the child support system. Uh, check out some of our other videos. Um, and um, I've also got a child support course that is going to be released soon. Um, really enjoyed actually researching for this video. Really enjoy um, celebrity child support issues and, and kind of talking about them briefly on this channel. So probably more of those to come. All right, guys, class dismissed. I'll see you in the next one.